You guys, we're at the Institute for Business and Home Safety with Dr. Ann Cope, and she's about to show us a fortified roof demonstration. You guys may be familiar with this. It's a certification that's for roofs, which like there have been some lawsuits, I'll just say, which we're talking about in season three of Home Diagnosis, of people saying that they're doing fortified roofs, and they actually didn't do it. So inspections, inspections, uh, make sure that you have those done. So here we've got two different roof sections. Grace is about to totally destroy these. But one thing that I wanted to ask is these are plywood roofs. They are. Is that a must in the fortified system? You know, it's, it's, it's not a must. Um, it's a great desire because we love the strength and the stability of plywood, um, but it's not a must. You can do it with OSB. It can get wet and then it can get dry again. It can. But also the tape that we're applying mm -hmm. to the uh, seam, does it stick on OSB? I would be dubious. Yeah, well, it's harder. Um, you have to prime it properly and then put okay. it down. Um, there is a primer that many of them require um, for okay. OSB. It is a little bit harder. And there are a couple of other ways. If you want to use OSB, um, maybe instead of using the tape, you use two layers of synthetic underlayment with a good, strong um, nailing pattern. It's a second way to get your sealed roof deck. Gotcha, okay. And that would stand up to what Grace is about to do to these things. Absolutely. Okay, awesome, here we go. So this first one here on the left, we have your typical 15 pound underlayment. It's just stapled on. Now let's say we've lost mass fault shingles in a derecho event. And uh, now this underlayment is sitting there exposed to the wind and you're gonna show exactly how easy it is to pull that right off. Okay, so Hurricane Grace Hurricane is now Grace. ready to attack this. Exactly, pop it right off. <laughs> okay, so I mean, if I was wind, I would be coming, oh, that's really easy. <laughs> that is really easy and that is a very thin piece of material. Wow. Most of the time it's simply stapled on just to hold it in place to get the shingles on on top of it. Our number of staples is probably actually too many. This is this is not very different from the construction paper that my kids play with. Exactly. That's what you might have used to cover your school books, right? That's it. Okay. Right. So the shingles come off, that underlayment's easy to pull off. Yeah. And now we've got that gap between the two pieces of plywood right that here. is just ready for the rain to come in. So over here, we have a 30 pound felt, so it's a little bit thicker, and we're giving it a better fighting chance because we've fastened it with more fasteners and using that button cap to try to keep it on. Um, so Hurricane Grace is gonna come just like she did to the other roof and take it off. Okay, yep. Uh, <laughs> be... It did pop. It did. Yes, and this Not is why we got the safety glasses on this one. Yeah, it's a little hard. Uh, there you go. All right, it'll rip. It will rip. I'm going to give you a hope on this one. Um, it's, it's as hard, as, right? Oh, we're wow. moving it all around. Okay, yes. I got it. Yep, and we'll just peel this over here to the side. This is a workout. Ugh, it gosh. is. And so this particular roof is going to have a lot more wind resistance. This is um, a bitumen tape, and there are many that qualify, and it simply provides the bridge between the two pieces of wood so that the water can run right off and down into the gutter. Right. And, and there would be little holes and penetrations from nails from the mm -hmm. shingles, but you're not nearly as concerned as this gap. Yep. So now Hurricane Grace is back. Right. It I've wasn't just that wind. Off. It wasn't ah. just wind. We've got, some, uh, we've got some rain to go along with it. Right. And now you're going to pour that. Just kind of drip it down. Yeah, just kind of drip it down. Now, some of it you see goes over, but some of it is gonna go right in through this crack right. and down into oh. the attic. Right, watch out for the rain. Cause I mean, seriously, that, that really makes, it look does. at how much, look at how much water is going down there. Yup, it, it is a lot. So all of the it, water that hits the roof, it, go, it has to go one of two places. It's either going in between the plywood and down into your attic, or it manages to get to the gutter. And I felt like when the water, when that first bottle, when I was spraying, dripping it down, it was dry, and so it went down, but then- As soon as it as gets, it gets wet, wet Literally, the water starts going faster down. It's, it's getting caught more. It is. It's, it's amazing Very how Very little that is actually coming down here. It's really being aimed towards the middle. Oh no, we're yes. filling up the house with water. We are, and funny so. that you say that. Yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> we are filling up the, um, the beaker with water. Ah! Switch it out. 
<laughs> wow. Okay, that's the comparison. <laughs> yeah, you did enough water that we have a good comparison. Okay, catching it, catching it because holy moly. Okay. So on a typical home, it might cost an extra five hundred dollars. It's to tape. do the tape. Right. right. Tape is not an expensive. Tape is building not material. that expensive, um, but people need to. People have to get comfortable with it and right. learn that it's, it's, it's just not something crazy. New. Right, but you know, pour the water here okay. and it goes right over the tape. Here, yeah, go ahead. Um, pours right over the tape. Your plywood's still gonna get wet. Yeah. You might get one or two drips through those nail holes, but most of it is gonna make it to the gutter and it's not coming down through your insulation onto your couch. Wow, yeah. I mean, you guys don't even have a basin there because no. you know you're not gonna right. catch any Absolutely. water. Absolutely, <laughs> um, so some fun facts that our meteorology team put together. For every one inch of, of rainfall that yeah. your meteorologist says came down in the storm, on a typical 2,000 square foot home, if the whole thing is exposed, the amount of water that comes through on that non-fortified home, nine bathtubs of water poured into your attic. Sadly, my very own parents experienced um, what it means to have a, an unsealed roof deck they experienced the 2004 um, hurricane season down in Central Florida, and I was literally standing in their kitchen with a broom handle, knocking holes in the ceiling to allow the water to come out without dropping the ceiling on my head. Oh no. Uh, right, and so the amount of water that comes in and then just exacerbates the damage is, is terribly impressive. And so, you know, this is a new construction technique, but you have to replace your roof every every couple of years, and this is something that could be added into an existing home to really up, upgrade it. Quite easily. Um, and so that people don't have to remember, what was it I was supposed to get again? Just get a fortified roof because it'll be nailed down properly, the, you'll get the button cap or stronger fastening for your underlayment, and you'll get protection from the water coming in if you lose the roof cover. All you have to remember is ask for that fortified roof. So you guys can find out more about fortified roofs and just ask your builder to do what they're recommending. Where yep. can they do that? Fortifiedhome.org. You can find all the information there. Go take a look. Awesome. And there's no specific products that they're saying that they're calling out. It's just like with whatever it is that you're using, use it in this pattern with this system and you'll get it right. So thank you very right. much for, for doing the research on this kind of thing. You guys make sure that you comment questions below. Tune in next time.